Yo guys, welcome back to a new Peace Show Battle Styles video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a really cool combo here of these two new Aegis Slashes with Stance Change, allowing you to swap between the two. Um, you have one Aegis Slash, the Shield one, which does 70 for two, and then you're immune to V-Maxes. And then you also have the Sword Aegis Slash, which does three for 210. So pretty little cool combo here. You swap between the two with Stance Change. We're going to be trying to make it work today. Now, before I get the video, I do want to shout out Car Cabin, but I also want to shout out my Twitch real quick, because I'm going to be streaming tomorrow at around noon Eastern Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow is when I will be streaming. I'm going to be participating in a big streamer-only tournament. There's going to be 16 different streamers in the tournament, and uh, basically, it's a tournament where it's a deck wizard tournament. So you choose two cards of your choice, and then you click the deck wizard and then it will build that deck around the two cards you chose and it's a deck wizard so sometimes the deck will give you really useless cards like sometimes you'll get electro charger so it's like really it's gonna be really cool you can make a few changes to your deck after you've chosen your pokemon and created your deck but i'm gonna be in it tomorrow and um i already think i know what i'm playing but tomorrow at noon i'm gonna theory craft a bit before i finalize on my deck so i'm gonna be streaming at noon tomorrow so make sure you go check out my twitch stream tomorrow twitch.tv slash deck fury to see me participate in this tournament with a bunch of other streamers and see if i can take it down um yeah before the video guys of course our two sponsors car cabin of course as always guys if you're ever looking for any pc joe pack codes get them over at car cabin car cabin selling codes online for the cheapest you guys can let it pick up any set code like, of course, Battle Styles, Shiny Fates, Vivid Voltage, Sword Shell Base Set. Or if you're looking for any other promo code, any ETB codes, sleeve codes, pre-release kit codes, or you want to pick up one of those battle kit codes, like the ADP Zacian one, or the Pika Ram, or Reshi's Art one, get them over at Card Cabin. If you get any codes over at Card Cabin, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin. So shout out Card Cabin, check them out, and use code LDF if you get any codes. So let's look at this list here. So yeah, dual Lega Slash. It's a really cool combo. Being able to stance change between the two is really cool. You do have to keep the damage and the stuff on. And the Aegis Slash does have to be in your hand, which is kind of awkward instead of being in your deck or discard pile, but it's fine. Um, and the two Aegis Slash do have their own unique traits. Uh, the Shield one, I think, is the best of the two because it is immune to V-Maxes. So if you're up against Eternatus or something or Urshifu, you get that immunity. Um, and then we have the uh, Full Metal Blade one, which just... 210 you do unfortunately have to discard two energy i wish it didn't discard two energy i really wish it did more damage and didn't discard energy discard energy is really unfortunate but we do have metal saucer i'm gonna be combining this with bronzong and of course zacian it's a nice also backup attacker um sometimes you can go gigaton bash for 70 into a brave blade and i'm playing the bronzong engine um of course but yeah Aegis Slash is really cool the problem with this deck also is you can't play more than two of each Aegis Slash because you can only play four in your deck try to add one won't work um we do have a nice little dual blade here with tool drop. It's a nice backup attacker too sometimes. Doing third damage for each tool in play. Um, and this counts for your opponent. So if your opponent plays a lot of tools that they have down, tool drop can hit pretty hard. Um, probably won't one shot stuff, but it does hit hard. It can soften things up to be KO'd, uh, which is kind of cool. So that's a nice little backup option. Thankfully, we have a decent dual blade um, in the deck too. And of course, we have to play Crobat and Dedenne because it's a draw deck. Um, then we got Zacian. Intrepid Sword can be very bro broken <laughs> to get energy on. We got Evo Incense. Maybe to play a couple more Evo Incense is not terrible. And we got four Calm, four Quick Balls, four Calm. We have 20 Pokemon. And we got four Candy, two Boss, four Mining, four Research, two Air Balloon. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a third Air Balloon or a fourth Air Balloon. A genuinely Air Balloon was really good in this deck um, after what I found. So I, I probably want to play another Air Balloon in all honesty. Um, that'd be pretty good. And then we got 10 Metals. I would like to play more Metals too. There's no Cody Metal in the deck as you can see. I mean, Cody Metal won't really matter on Aegis Slash. It'll get cooked anyways by, like, Reshi's Art or Bilsafalon, so it's not really needed in this deck, in my opinion. Just kind of have to take that L to fire. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can win a game or two. I'm hoping we can pull off some cool stance change combos in this video. Hopefully that is what we end up doing. Um, but yeah, make sure to check out that Twitch, my Twitch down below tomorrow at noon um, to see me participate in that Carpties Rats Deck Wizard tournament against other streamers. With that out of the way, let's get into some games. Right, here we go, getting into our first match with this Aegis Slash deck. I... See if we can actually win with it. That's uh, the goal at the end of the day when playing PCGO. And we've been recognized, and we are mulliganing, completely giving away what we're playing, which is kind of annoying. Um, not gonna lie, it's a little annoying. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get here. Crobat. Nice. Just a Crobat start. Cool. Cool, and we're playing it to ADP, I'm assuming. Hmm. Yeah, it's not good. This hand is just not not a chief. We can get a Zacian, but then we have two two prizes in play, and then they just win with boss boss. So what's the point even? What is the point of doing that? Oh no, we're playing Eternatus. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I've changed my opinion. Now this is where this guy is gonna be really good. We could beat them. We do have the stance change 
It actually might not be bad. So I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit more optimistic in this matchup. I mean, we need a supporter. And we also need Bronze Ore. And we need the Han Edge. But yeah, this guy, this Sega Slash here is actually going to be pretty good in this matchup. I thought it was ADP. I mean, the dude had the Zacian Sleeve and then the, the Arceus deck box. I was like, yeah, this is clearly an ADP deck. Okay, they do play Hammer. That's annoying. Not a big deal. We only need two energy to attack. Oh, so Gucci. Let him get those hammers out of here. I actually wouldn't mind getting Marnie because his hand sucks. <laughs> Just saying, I would uh, actually be very appreciative of a Marnie here for my opponent. We'll see, though. I mean, I got to assume they'll Marnie me, right? Six card hand off an Intrepid Sword. There's no reason not to Marnie me. No Marnie. That's annoying. Okay, what do we draw? Absolutely nothing that can help our cause. All right, cool. Trip sword. There we go. We got Hanage and Marnie. We could hold the hand too, but we need to uh, get Bronze Ong down. Well, actually putting these guys at the bottom of the deck is kind of annoying, actually. Um, maybe we hold the hand for another turn. Well, now we're probably going to get Marnie, I'm assuming. Um, but they aren't going to be taking a prize this turn because they are going to evolve the Bench Eternatus, which is good. They didn't get the energy in play with the Cell Connector or Power Accelerator, whatever the hell it's called. And uh, we're chilling. We need to make sure we get this in play we need to get a bronze on because now zacian has a target on his head zacian has a big fat target on his head for boss my opponent yeah zacian is basically just asking to be bossed at this point i'm gonna air balloon the active because i gotta assume there's a boss coming we can marnie them they haven't played a supporter yet so i don't think we have to i think we're just gonna trip sword again it's gonna keep doing intrepid sword until the end of time Told you they had a boss, but they're actually going to kill my Han Edge. Oh no, they're not going to kill my Han Edge because we actually survived with 6 HP. Now, this is still kind of an issue because we still can't attack them. We can't get Bronzong in play. Get Bronzor here. Probably going to have to sacrifice the Han Edge. There's not much I can do about that. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. This is Intrepid Sword. There's some Dew Blades. Sorry, Hanage, buddy. You gotta get sacrificed for the greater good. I wouldn't mind getting 10 damage on this, because then we can just knock it out with full metal blade. Would have been pretty good. Would have been pretty good for sure. I want them to evolve this though. Like right? we want I want them to evolve this into a turn to speed max. It's probably not gonna happen then. They're probably gonna keep doing power accelerator. But at some point I do want this to become a VMAX. The only problem is now we have two two prizes in play, so it's like I start hitting them with Gigaton Bash for 70 damage, mind you, which is not a lot of damage, and then they just boss. And it's like, what's the point? <laughs> What's the point, bro? Boss's order. They're not evolving the active. I need them to do that. I need you to evolve your active. Okay, no, they do lose a boss, though, which is good. The less boss I have, the better. And they've evolved all two to attack me. But they're still building up a turn to switch is fine. I mean, I guess... Bro, no, dude! The goon knockout? I didn't even see that coming. Not the feed him Crobat. That's unfortunate. They can't they can't knock me out though, right? Yeah, they can't knock me out. Fine. Well now we can get knocked out by like a hoop or something. Hmm. What do we draw? Bronze Long maybe? No. Hurricane Diego slash. Football for another Haunage. We'll have the Marnie here. We're at the Marnie and hope we get Bronzong because we can't attack them if we do not get Bronzong, and that's not good. We do not get Bronzong as expected. Okay. Good job, game. So we can let Crobat get KO'd. I don't want to do. We can knock him out with Zacian, which is actually not terrible. We do lose all of our three. We lose three of our energy, so my opponent can actually take out all the energy off my board if we go Zacian here. I do want to knock this thing out, though. I do want to take these prizes. I actually think this is fine. As long as my opponent doesn't... Um, as long as my opponent doesn't... I mean... As long as they don't crushing hammer, this this this, pay, this play it will pay off. We still have saucers. Not a big deal. I do like this play, though. I don't know. Hopefully this pays off. We'll see. I don't know. I don't like giving them prizes, but... I, we're not going to be able to Gigaton Bash them. We can, like, go Gigaton Bash for 70, and then we could have swapped either Aegis Slash, knocked it out. That would have been my other alternative, which I maybe should have done, to be honest. Um, but, like, 
my the hand I originally had was just no way to get Bronzong, so I had a Marnie. I don't know. I, I can't keep sitting here. All right, we needed to get Bronzong. My man just didn't come to my hand. We had to use Asian. And we do lose two prizes. Now my opponent can just win with two more boss, so... I don't think we're winning this, guys. We'll see. We'll see how long we can keep up this, this stance change for, though. We'll see how long we can stance change my opponent for. Maybe we can win. We'll see. Maybe it's, like, very generous. It's, I actually... I don't know, man. This is still gonna be a tough game to win for sure an uphill battle like that as long as they still have a boss or two left i can't see how i'm winning this well especially if they have two boss left i don't actually think i can even win to begin with because my opponent can just go boss boss right that's the problem with playing stage two decks and multi priors in stage two decks it's just if your opponent plays boss's order you may as well just pack it up so we can uh, gigaton bash we're only doing 70 damage so we are barely putting a dent on this eternatus here but, I mean, they don't really have a good attacker to knock me out, so maybe it's okay. Like, they don't really have, like, a good attacker to fall back on. Like, I guess they can go Crobat, which can do 80. They have a Veltal, which can hit me for 60. Um, we'll see. I mean, we can still win this. It's not impossible to lose. We can still win. It's just going to come down to whether or not my opponent finds boss. I don't know. Maybe... I feel, I feel like taking that knockout there was really big. Getting those two prizes, I really like. We needed to get some prizes, right? We, we need to take prizes, so... I still think that Zacian play was fine, Thinking about it, maybe I should have sacrificed one of the bronze ores, so, but they could have had a boss in hand, and then I wouldn't have gotten the knockout. I don't I think it was fine to just do that boss play when I did it. I think, or not the boss, but the, the play I did when I did it. I think it was still correct to do that. Take the prizes and just pretty much pray, right? Some Eternals are trying to play three boss now, so they may not even have an extra boss. Maybe they only play one boss, and they have one boss left. That's totally fine, because they can only knock out Crobat. I don't know. It's going to be hard to win this, guys. We'll see. Yep, there's the boss. Probably gonna kill my Crobat. No, the Bronzong. That means they do have a lot. They have one boss left in the deck, so. I do think the game's just gonna end here. We'll see. I mean, what we can do... We can hit them and then knock them out with the other Aegislash next turn. That can be a potential play we can do. Assuming they don't have their last boss in their hand, right? Unless... They, 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 if they have their last boss, we literally just flat out lose. Um, not even a chance, bro. Try try to wall my opponent off with my attack. No, sir. Just boss, boss, boss. Boss, boss's order. It's all good. So, they probably have boss in hand. This is probably all for nothing, but... Gigaton Bash, bro. Let's see it. One time. We can kill the Eternus VMAX with this other Giga Slash. And uh, that might be enough to take us home. We'll see. We'll see what happens. My opponent probably just has their last boss in their hand, though. Because they did say, woo, that was close. So I'm like, right, they probably got it. They probably got game. Here we go. Do they have the boss? Well, they would have played it by now. Quick ball. I mean, even if they don't have it, they're going to find it eventually. And I don't think I can keep doing Gigaton Bash over and over again. Because eventually they will find the boss. So I can't afford to do Gigaton Bash over and over again. Maybe they don't play a... I don't know. Maybe they don't play a fourth boss. We'll see. Actually, hopefully they don't get hammer here because that could be really annoying. Because I do want to boss knock this out. I do want to kill this for the boss if I can. Then we just knock out Goon with, like, Gigaton Bash. We can still win this. It's This game is actually still winnable. We just gotta hope they never find their boss's order if they play a fourth one. That's, like... Unfortunately, my only way to win this is just pray that this, you know, deck doesn't find their fourth boss because playing four bosses is super fun to play against. Oh no, we can't. We don't have an energy to go with this bot. Never mind. We can't. We don't have Bronzong in play. I just realized we don't have Bronzong to make this play work. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, never mind. We don't have. Not, we don't have an energy and we don't have a Bronzong. So it's, we can't knock out the Eternatus VMAX here. Now, if we could knock out the Eternatus, I actually think we would have a shot of winning this. Because then we would just need one more boss on, like, the goon or something. Hmm. We Marnie them and pray we don't give them boss. Maybe they have boss in hand and we're taking it away. Like, that's... I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to trying to do things here. I think this is the only thing I can do. There's... We got the Bronzong. Hmm. I put the Bronzong in play. I, I mean, we need to swap into the Aegislash. That calm needs to get Aegislash too, but... I mean, we also need to get Bronzong in play. It's our last Bronzong, though, which kind of feels bad. Take energy off... 
do blade just to do this now in case they boss. Well, no, they always boss. They're not going to have bronze on. I don't know. I'm overthinking this. All right. Opponent, find your last boss's order. I know you want to. Maybe it's prize. Maybe, maybe the prize on his boss. Okay, crushing hammer. That's fine. Probably have to research here unless we draw the Egg Slash. Yeah, they're already starting to build other attackers. How many energy they played? Four, five, six, seven. Only seven energy. Yeah, that's going to derail me. We can two shot this though. They don't two shot me, so we can two shot them. She drew the Egg Slash. Okay. We can knock this out. But do we want to? We could also just knock out the Aveltal. Like, maybe they actually don't have a boss left, and we could just Gigaton bash them until we win the game. We can also knock this out, and then come out of nowhere, they're not going to be turned. That could also work, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's knock this out. They don't have their last boss. We can just out of nowhere go stance change, knock out boss. So... That's what we can do. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if this pays off. It might pay off. See, they don't have anything. Uh, they do have a Crobat still, so they could... We could open a bench spot for a Crobat here. Which would suck. Here we go. We're going to Gigaton Bash. If they don't win this turn, we actually should win, unless they Marnie or Stamp me here. We should be able to win the game next turn. If my opponent doesn't win this turn we have we have game the problem is i did give them a free crobat spot open which means that they do have that last boss in the deck they are going to find it now they also might just be sacking goon so if we don't get marnie here that's not a marnie that's a, that's not even a, that's not a boss so we might have just squeaked out a win here somehow some way let's see unless they they have to play a stamp to stop me from winning this We've at, we did it. We won. So here we go, guys. We're going to go stance change, swap into the attacking, the sword egg slash. And then we're going to boss the Eternus VMAX. And then we are going to full metal blade for the knockout. There we go. We actually managed to beat my opponent's Eternus deck. I got to see if they had four boss. I am actually very curious to see if my opponent played four boss. Because I was like certain we were losing that because it was like, oh, for a bad boss. Bye bye. I got to see this. Nope, never mind. I can't see it. But I got to assume they played four boss. There's no way they don't, right? But whew, that was a very intense match. I'm glad we got a dub, though. That was a pretty clean win, too, being able to go from shield to sword and then sword finish the game. So that's what this deck is all about. All right, let's try this deck again. Try to win another match with it. We do lose the coin flip, which is not good. Uh, they get to go first, which doesn't help our case either. We got a bronze or egg slash start. Or haunted start. It's not a bad hand, though, to be honest. I think I'll open with the Haunage. That's fine. We'll open with Haunage here. I'm going to try to prep Bronzling if I can. Oh, you hate to see it, bro. A freaking ADP deck. They didn't get Zacian, though, but they did get the energy on. Probably means we're going to see my opponent go for an insane play. Now, the only problem with this hand is... We can Dedenne, but we also want to go Zacian. But I don't want to do Zacian because Aaron Mountains. So we can get Bronzong, though. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to quick ball. We're going to have to Dedenne, but we can't go Zacian, which I don't know if I want, if I like that, though, but it's like in this matchup, we can't go Zacian. No. Why is it like, wait, is it letting me do Metal Transfer? Oh, what? Bro, I have no energy in play. What do you mean? What on earth kind of bug is that? All right. What are we looking at here? A lot of energy. Um, we'll Marnie them. Yeah, if we play down Zacian, we're going to lose to Boss Boss, right? We'll see. All right, nice. We did get the turn two uh, thing. No draw cards, though. Yikes. Hmm. I mean, we have the Aegis Slash, but we don't have... We don't have anything to respond with. Even for 10 damage, it doesn't really make a difference. And we're going to have to go Zacian. We, that Marnie just gave us a bad hand. We can't do anything with it. We're going to have the Zacian... Now we have two Pokemon in play that we just lose to boss with. But we do get Marnie and energy back, so it's all good. I guess it would have worked out, actually, because I think we were drawing the energy there. Um, so I guess we would have drawn energy. We wouldn't have had a supporter, though, so whatever. I mean, the problem is we're playing against a tag team deck, though. We're not playing against a VMAX deck. But we can try to go hit for 70 and then go into the other Aegis Slash. That's kind of our game plan. As long as they don't play Crushing Hammer. If my point is play Crushing Hammer here. I actually think we have a chance of winning. Maybe. Maybe not a chance. But we can do some cool combos here on this ADP. I actually really hope we draw a Pokemon here so we can get the Aegislash down. So I want to go hit for 70 and then follow up with a uh, 
all over the other Aegis Slash. But they do have a Guzma Hollow, which means they are going to get a big charm on, most likely, which completely throws that game plan out the window. So now we are unable to go 70 into 210. But we can go into the Zacian instead, I guess. You know, I don't even know if we can win this anymore. Like, we're so far behind. <laughs> All right, do we even draw anything that's helpful here? Nope. Nice. Bad, bad draw. Cool. Um, gonna research, I guess. We just need a draw. We are down two candies, though. We still whip the egg slash. My goodness. That's impressive. That is some impressive stuff right there. We can uh, still hit them for 230, though. So, that's fine. That's a pretty big whiff, man. Get the rare candy, but we don't get the Pokemon to go with it. You'll love to see it. Um, Station can get knocked out at least. That's good. Now he's kind of stuck, though, because we don't have another air balloon. Have to retreat next turn. A bunch of other bronze orange just hit him for 230. That's fine. I mean, we can still finish him off now, so it's not the end of the world. We can't knock him out with the 70 damage attack, though, because they have 80 HP because big charm. Fun times. Thank you, ADP. I mean, just low maintenance. They just have the energy in their hand to just boss. And yeah, it's like... Yeah. It's on pretty much an unwinnable matchup. They did play uh, like another Dedenne or Crobat there. So maybe they have like a dead hand. Zamazenta still one-shots my Aegislash because they all have 150 HP. This thing does 160. I, mean, I don't know. This is pretty much just a lost cause at this point. But they didn't build up a Zacian, so we can still KO them with our Zacian. Let's see we draw Rod. Not going to play that. We're just going to Marnie them and maybe find an Aegis Slash or Dewblade one time. There we go. We got the Dewblade finally. I mean, my opponent could still win. They have they only have one medal in the discard. We kill them, though. So maybe we have a shot. I don't know. I'm trying to be trying to be optimistic, guys. I'm trying to be optimistic here, but uh, it's not looking great. Let's get double Dewblade, I guess. Sure. I don't think it matters. Uh, we can't one-shot the Zam next turn. I have an issue. We can take out their ADP, though. If we had a switch in the deck, we could go switch and then knock out their Zam with Zacian. Zacian could solo us this entire game. We're just not able to get there. Let's see what our prizes are. Another Zacian. There's an Aegislash. Slash. Not the one I wanted. There's our Crobat. Oh, we can get Mawild here. That'd be kind of bad. That'd be kind of funny. We'll see if I give them the win here. They just need... Oh, they get rid of a boss. That's not bad. Yeah. If they, they might just win with Zacian. Right. They might just build it up in one turn because... They can, and then they'll knock me out. So they're probably still going to lose this game. They have a one-card hand, yeah. Marnie them into the nuts. And they just need us. Well, they need. They still actually need a lot. Again, they only have one medal in their one medal in the discard. They got the saw. Yep. Now they win. They just go e switch. Yep. That's game. That's game. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's gonna have to be that. We didn't really get two Zegas Slash. We were unable to find it. We're playing against ADP. We're playing against. A, we're playing a slower deck. What? I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I expect the outcome to be. We just. Hey guys, we're going to try this deck out one more time. Hopefully, you can win this one. And hopefully, we're not playing against another ADP deck. The less ADP I play against, the better my mental health state will be. And we win the coin flip, which is good. We do get to go first. So, we're playing against here. Try to get another dub with the deck. Hopefully, if all goes well, to mean we don't draw poorly either. So many factors in playing these lovely stage two decks. So, how are we going to start off here? Okay, that's not terrible. We'll start with Haunt Edge and we'll bench Bronzor. Uh, we're looking for a Zacian, I think. See if we can find it. We're looking, yeah, I want to try to get a Zacian down so we can try with Sword. I probably have to play Crobat. Oh, they're playing Buzzmosa. Hmm. Probably playing Mewtwo, which, I mean, we can maybe beat the Mewtwo deck. All right, come on, Crobat, give me a, give me a Zacian. No, another Haunt Edge is good, though. Not ideal. We didn't get the uh, Zacian, which is unfortunate, but... We might have a turn two Aegis Slash. We can hit them for 70. That can be, uh, this Buzz Mosa can be KO'd by the other Aegis Slash. So we have that going for us at least. I think we're playing against the Mewtwo Rillaboom deck and they do play Malwana. That's also something we have to worry about. I don't know if we can beat this Mewtwo Rillaboom deck though, to be honest. We'll see. We can kind of go 70 into 210. That kind of has to be our game plan, I guess. That's the best thing I can think of. Best case scenario, they actually whiff the uh, Super Growth here. That's the best case. They whiff super growth. Yeah, nice. Okay. I might have to research, unfortunately. There's Zacian. One card too late of, as always. Um, yeah, we're going to have to research here. I got to dig. Dig, dig, dig. Rare Candy Aegis Slash? Bruh. Okay, now they can beast game me, which is a little annoying. Big whiff, big whiff. 
We can get, I guess we can get Dewblade. I guess now they can't be scammy. Dewblade, I guess, works. We have no air balloon. No. Actually, hitting them with tool drop would have been pretty good, actually, because then we can set them up to be killed by in, uh, Brave Blade. But uh, I guess we're just going to trap a sword then. And all right, all right, we got energy. All right, chill out game. This is actually not that bad of a hand. We'll take it. We'll take it. Not getting the attack off there is really unfortunate, though, but because Bosmosa was it's kind of like our like one of the big Pokemon we can easily KO with uh, Zacian. But yeah, that yeah, not getting the rare candy combo there sucks, but whatever. Not much I can do about it. And there's a Malana. They don't have to waste a Malana, though, at least, so that's good. Now they have no Malanas left, which is kind of decent, I guess. Honestly, I think we have to try to go Zacian because we can't. We go Gigaton Bash, we just get knocked out by thing. But I think we go with the full metal blade uh Aegis Slash here. Gonna have to be what I'm gonna do, I think. Okay. So we can go Zacian now. Oh, we took the third. Never mind, that jet punch set up the math perfectly. Shoot. Yeah, never mind. Jet punch actually sets up the math perfectly with my opponent. Because now if we go full metal blade, we actually just get KO'd. That's unfortunate. We do have to go Zacian. We're gonna have to go station here so we don't get knocked out. Not good. Um, just marning them, I guess. Should we see if we can get a uh, another bronzer? Would be decent. Okay, nice. We have calm though. I don't, know, I don't know. We might need to save that, but we'll play it anyways. Grab another bronzer because they could knock out bronze on here with the boss, right? No. Oh. Hit him for two thirty. The next turn, we can try to go into the Aegislash. The 230 damage leaves them 4 HP. They heal 30. So I guess the math actually works out perfectly well for the other Aegislash then. As long as they don't put a big charm on, or they don't Malana again, which I don't think they can. So I think as long as they don't put a big charm on here, I guess we could knock them out with the other Aegislash. Because they'll heal 30. They'll have 70 damage on them. So we could still KO them for 70 damage. And then we just got to figure out how to knock out the Buzzmosa to win. Ah, maybe we can win this. I don't know. I wish we had a little bit more switching cards though for... Uh, Zacian. Just two air balloons just doesn't cut it. Okay. No big charm one time. I mean, if they do get it, we can still KO them. Oh, they have a catcher. They got a heads. Well, now we can just knock them out Zacian, I guess. Now we don't have to go Aegislash. What are they even going to bring in? What are they bringing in here? I, I got to assume it's Bronze on. Yeah, that's why. Okay, now I'm glad I bent the Bronze or. I don't agree with this play because now we just knock about Zacian. Um... Hmm. Do we want to go knock out Zacian? I mean, we can't get knocked down return, I don't think. Yeah. We go Zacian, I think. I think Zacian's definitely the play. Hmm. We'll bench me so I can't do jet punch. I don't want to research here, but... The games leave me no choice. Here we go. What do we get? Okay. Yeah. More energy. That's what I was hoping for. We got another bronze on too, but I kind of want to save that for the other Aegislash. But at this point, I think we have. Well, this guy's already going to be attacking. I don't think we want to use the other Aegislash right now. Make sure we get another bronze on down. I mean, they could have another boss in hand. But they play catcher though. What the hell? All right, we got air balloon though, which is nice. So we'll just uh... rave blade him. Yeah, just knock out. I mean, if they knock out bronze on, we reset brave blade, which is fine for us. We just got to figure out how to knock out this Buzzmosa. So maybe we can go Mew next turn, hit it for 30, and then knock it out with Brave Blade. The only problem is we are low on supporters. We have one Marnie, one Research, and one boss left. We still have the Dene to work with, though. So we still have that. Next remote Buzzmosa, which is interesting. Okay, there's the big charm. That's what I was worried they would get. But that's fine. Then we can still go Aegislash here. Oh, maybe we can win this. I don't know. Having resistance to grass is actually kind of good for us. Not going to lie. It's actually really good that I'm going. They should go egg grab Rillaboom because then they can reset my energy with Tropical Hour. That's actually really good. They're not attacking with that. I guess they're trying to go Elegant Soul into a Beast Game, but that doesn't even work, right? Because they're only doing 160 and then 20. That's not enough damage, so that's not going to work for them. We could get Stamped or Marnie, and then we, if we lose Air Balloon, this kind of makes things awkward. Okay, nice. No Air Balloon, or no, no, no Marnie or whatever. No Stamp. Now we go Balloon. Retreat. Do this. We have to keep two on. I don't really like keeping two energy on this guy because I do want to keep the energy slot open in case they boss, but 
Because, okay, theoretically, they'll go, we discard the two energy, they can knock out Bronzong, then we retreat into Zacian. They knock out Zacian, we can still go. I think we're still going to win this. We can go full Metal Blade for 210 damage. And they have a three-card hand. As long as they don't Mal, Lana, or whatever, they have 8 HP, so we're 10 damage short with Gigaton. Oh, that sucks. We can either go full Metal Blade or Intrep or Brave Blade next turn, so we'll see. Well, they're probably going to go Egg Row, though, because they can't afford to use... They can't use this this uh, Busmosa anymore because it's heavily damaged. And Elegant Soul is only doing 60, well, 30 damage. It's unfortunate the Egg Row does KO me, though. There's the Mewtwo and Mew. Now we're just one boss away from winning the game. So now if we find our last boss, we should be able to win this. They're actually not building up the Egg Row, which is weird because they can go retreat Egg Row. They can't attack with Mewtwo currently. They have no way to... Well, they can, they can jet punch me, but that's not going to do anything. They should have, why did they not build up Egg Row? And then they can work towards the Tropical Hour GX. I don't, my opponent, I don't know what they're doing. They're not, they're playing kind of weird. They should have been, the whole time, they really should have been building up that Egg Row, right? Because that Tropical Hour GX is really bad for us. Yeah, jet punch is going to do not much. We can Metal Blade them again, I guess. Which is fine by me. Just keep putting pressure on to the poke these tag teams. And now this Mewtwo can finally get KO'd by the other Aegislash. Doesn't really matter where I put that. Sonization, I guess, sure. Quick ball with the quick ball. You know, the deck. Okay, we don't have Dene in the deck. Yikes. The Dene is prized. It sucks. We do have our last boss, though, which is pretty good. I probably could have Quick ball the way of candy. I don't know why I didn't get rid of a candy, actually. We just metal blade him for 210 and hope they don't Malalana. How much energy have they even played? Four, f six, eight. They might be out of grass energy, actually, to build up that egg row. So they just go Mewtwo, we win. Actually, we need another energy because they can boss knock out Zacian. And then there's no way we can attack them. Well, that's assuming they're going to calming Hurricane. Never mind. We got him. Nice. No boss for my opponent. All right. Swords, Sword Aegislash put in a lot of work in this game. And we're actually going to take a dub here over my opponent's uh, Rillaboom Mewtwo deck, which is a bit of a scary matchup. But I think my opponent didn't play it as well as they could have. I think, really, they should have been prioritizing the uh, that Tropical Hour GX. But now we're just going to Brave Blade. And we're going to win the game here. Pretty nice win. The... Sword Aegislash put in the most work this game over the Shield Aegislash, so we kind of reversed the roles. We did take an L ADP there, which sucks, but what do you expect? What do you expect when we're playing against ADP? But anyway, so I don't know guys on the Aegis Swap deck. Really cool deck. I'm not sure it's super good. If only we could play more than just two of each Aegislash, I think this deck could be a lot funner. Um... I wish the Aegislash just did more damage. Like, if this guy did 210 and didn't discard energy, or if it did 220 or even 230, if this guy did more than 70, that'd be nice too. But they're fun to play. It was a really cool, really cool deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 16,000 subscribers. As always, check out Car Cabin down below. Use code LDF if you get any code. Check out my socials down below. You can check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Patreon. I am streaming. Um, I am streaming tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. So uh, keep an eye out on that. Um, it be a really fun little tournament I'm in. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, peace out.